Alright buddy, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video and today guys we're looking at a Sylveon mill deck, Sylveon stall deck, whatever you want to call it. And on my Decidueye unit energy video I asked you guys if you guys had any deck suggestions because you know, it's kind of just like eh, I don't really know what deck I want to make a video on next. But someone requested to try out mill, a couple people actually requested to try out mill. And Sylveon, you know, came to my mind. I was like, let's try out Sylveon with Hoopa today. Um, yeah, I, on that video, I also got some requests for other decks too. Someone want, um, someone requested a Meg Mortar deck, which is interesting. Meg Mortar is one of my favorite Pokemon from Gen Four. Um, but I don't know. The, the problem with this card is that the three energy attack cost for 130 HP is a pretty bad payoff. So I don't know how I feel about Meg Mortar. It's a really nice card though. I really like Meg Mortar. Again, one of my favorite Gen Four Pokemon. Um, so thanks for all the requests on the video. In fact, when I'm recording this, the video hasn't even been up for like 12 hours, so I could definitely get more requests. So I don't even know. But anyways, let's take a look at Sylveon today, because I have yet to make a Sylveon stall deck video. I have not made a video on Sylveon GX in a stall manner. I've used it with stuff like Decidueyes. Um, but let's take a look. So Sylveon GX is a very cool card. It's got Magical Ribbon for one Fairy Energy. Search your deck for up to three cards and put them in your hand. That's really OP. That's any three cards you want, and if your opponent does not end you or play red card or something, they cannot stop Magical Ribbon, which is pretty overpowered. Um, we do have Fairy Wind, which is not a bad attack either. Two shots, most GXs. We do have Plea, which is a very good GX attack. Plea is extremely good in this deck. So, put two of your opponent's best Pokemon, all cards attached to him, back in your opponent's hand. Very strong. When you combo this with Parallel, because we do play Parallel City with Plea to try and make this combo work, I think... We do Parallel City first, and then we do Plea GX, and then they only have one bench Pokemon. It's an extremely disruptive card, so we're going to be using that combo. Plus, Parallel City is good against Zoark. We do play two Hoopas as our other Pokemon in the deck. There's been some interesting partners I've seen with Sylveon. I've seen Charizard GX, which I've wanted to do for a crazy combo deck for a while now. Um, there's also Garboder with Garbotoxin, which I like in this deck too, but we don't, you know, we're not going to play that because we play Hoopa instead. Um, so we're going to try out Sylveon with Hoopa today. Hoopa can just be a really nice stall card. If your opponent has no way to deal with Hoopa, we're just going to win the game. So, we do play that. We got our four Eevees. You notice we only play three Sylveons. I think that's fine. Um, and those were all of our Pokemon. We just nine Pokemon. The basis of Sylveon has always been the items. Um, so let's get into the items and supporters. We do play three E-Hammers. DCE and Strong Energy are super popular. Mainly DCE. And we're going to be playing three E-Hammers. One Field Blower to be able to get rid of tools. Technically, two might be better, especially if you play against a Garboder deck, and then they can get around your, your Hoopa. Four Max Potions. One of the key strategies that this deck likes to do is it likes to do Max Potion um, after you Magical Ribbon, and then you just reattach Fairy Energy, because we actually do run 12 Fairy Energies in this deck with one Super Rod, and we got four Puzzle of Times. So Max Potion Spam is very good in this deck. We do play two copies of Nest Ball to allow us to just put something down. No Bridgets or Ultra Balls are in this deck, so Nest Ball is really the only way to get Pokemon in play, unless you Magical Ribbon for them. We do play one Palpad. Palpad is now in the standard format, so we might as well play a, one of these, or even two of these if you want to run a second Palpad. Because being able to shuffle two supporters from your discard pile into your deck is really good when you can get back Flare Guns, Handiworks, Ace Rollas, stuff like that. So I kind of want to play two of these. Four Puzzle of Times this is one of the coolest cards in this deck. Because you can literally Magical Ribbon for three puzzles or just Magical Ribbon for double puzzle. And it allows you to get any two cards from your discard pile if you have two in your hand. So it's very good to be able to, you know, just get anything out of your discard pile. One Super Rod. Again, with the Max Potion spam, we do kind of need Super Rod in here. But we do have Super Rod also maybe to get our Pokemon back. Two Parallel Cities. Parallel City not only helps us against Zoark, it's just a really good disruption card in general. And also when you combo it with Plea GX, it's super strong. Um, we do play three Ace Rollas. One of the other healing mechanisms in this deck could be Ace Rolla. If we have two Eevees in play, or two Sylveons in play, you know, we Ace Roll the active, and go from there. Because most of the time we're going to do Magical Ribbon. Two Cynthias. One of the reasons why we play two Cynthias in one end and no Sycamores is because when we're stalling them out, one way we can, you know, beat them is by just doing Cynthia to shuffle our hand, make it smaller, so they'll get decked out before us, if that makes any sense. Plus, we still need a draw supporter in this deck, and uh, we did play N also for draw support. We do play one Delinquent. Delinquent's a very cool card because it allows you to get rid of the stadium, makes your opponent discard three cards from their hand. Very disruptive card. 
We do play one copy of Guzma. Guzma is still pretty good in this deck. We do play one Lusamine to maybe get back Parallel or a Supporter. Um, Lusamine can be cut for the second Palpat if you want. 14 Flare Grunts, one of the ways we can always win is just Flare Grunt spam them until they lose. Um, but Flare Grunt, mainly to get rid of like basic energies. And we do play one team Skull Grunt, also a nice card. If they have energy, special energies in their hand, you get rid of them. It can really be good against Zor, because Zor sometimes holds onto the energy in their hand until you get rid of it. To the get, till you get rid of the energy on the active, right? Um, because the Zork sees Sylveon, you know, they're not going to play the energy from their hand. Zork most of the time have a massive hand, so Skull Grunt against Zork is actually pretty strong. And we do play two Team Rockets Handiwork. One of the ways we can mill them is with Handiwork Spam. And we do play two Bodybuilding Dumbbells. Giving Sylveon 240 HP is incredibly overpowered. Um, and we do play one float just in case we want to retreat something for free. It's just good to have a float stone in this deck. Um, we do have Guzma also. We do play two DCs. Again, DC works with Sylveon in case we need to do Plea or Fairy Wind. And 12 Fairy Energies just to go ham. Now, you could play like a Rainbow Energy or two if you want to like attack with Hoopa. Because um, it's not a bad attacker to be honest, but we're not going to go that route. And this is my Sylveon Hoopa stall deck. Let's try this deck on a PC, Joe. We're probably going to have some pretty long matches, so grab some popcorn, grab a bag of chips, do whatever you got to do. I'll catch you guys in a minute with some matches. Alright, here we go guys, let's get some games with Sylveon. I have yet to actually play a Sylveon install deck in, like, ever. So I might actually be a little newbie with this deck, so I hope you guys don't mind. This is my first time actually playing a Sylveon stall, so we'll see if I end up sucking or not. Well, so I think it's Noivern, um, which is actually really good because we're a fairy type. So I'm actually expecting this match to be pretty good for us. We aren't going to win the coin flip, which is not good. We are going to mulligan, revealing we're playing definitely a Sylveon deck. It's pretty obvious. Let's see if we can start with Eevee. We don't. That'd be a pretty good hand if we were going... Yeah, that'd be a good hand for us because we could have done a lot of stuff. We did start with Eevee, um, but unfortunately we aren't. So we're going to just have to keep mulliganing. Since he does play Garbodor... Hoopa's pretty invaluable in this matchup, but it is what it is. So we'll just have to wait a minute for my opponent. Hopefully we don't mulligan too much. I want to give him like a, an insanely large hand. That would not be ideal. Unless we get a turn one team skull grunt. But we're not going first, which is not good either. Alright, there we go. We do get double Eevee. We do have a flare grunt too, which isn't bad. Hopefully I don't have two Sylveons prized. Because if I do, that would be pretty terrible. And then I won't be able to go into Sylveon. Okay, so he's playing Weavile, which is fine, because we're most likely going to have Sylveons in play, so we should be good. We are going to see a Bridget from my opponent. I am kind of worried about, uh, Noivern's, what's it, Distort? Distort's pretty bad, because we do play a lot of items like Puzzle, you know, Pal Pad, Body Belt and Dumbbells. So, we'll see. Garbodor is going to be an annoying card, though, to deal with. So he's going to attach, which is fine, we'll Flare Grunt him. And Blot does 10x, so I don't have to worry about too much. So, we'll go into Sylveon, hopefully it's in the deck. It is, okay, good. We'll grab the Springbow Rare one. I think what I'll do is I will... Do I need to parallel him now? I think I hold it. So we'll just hit him with a Team Flare Grunt, and we will Magical Ribbon, probably for... Um... Looks like two puzzles are time prize. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. I think actually what we'll do, we'll grab a second team flare gun. We'll grab a DCE, and we will grab body. Mm, I don't know. I actually don't know if I want to play that many items because he does play Garboder. I don't really see a point in grabbing the dumbbells now. It's maybe just a field blower. Nah, that's kind of useless. Um, we'll just grab a. We'll just grab two team flag runs. Why not? I didn't really know what I wanted to grab there. I won't grab a DC because if he goes into Noivern, we can just knock him out. Or maybe, ah, maybe I should have grabbed Guzma then. I don't actually. I didn't. I don't think it was prized actually. Never mind. We will see a Cynthia, so he will not be able to shut down my. Magical Ribbon. This is why Sylveon is pretty decent because so many people are cutting their ends down now, so they're just going to run Cynthia. We're going to see an Evo Soda. 
But if he doesn't go into, it depends on what we volley plays. I mean, either or is kind of useless here. Um, because once we put two Sylveons down, we don't have to worry about evil domination. Because we do play Hoop and Eevee, which have abilities, but again, with evil domination, it's fine. So we'll actually just knock out Noivern here. Um, I think I just hold the hand. There's really nothing I need to do. Could have ended him. No point. We'll knock out this Noivern, take two prizes. There's a puzzle, there's an Eevee. Eevee's pretty useless, but I might put another Sylveon down just in case. I don't know, we'll see. I'm assuming he plays, like, E-Hammer to get rid of my special energy, so DC might be gone soon, so we have to watch out for that. So he's actually going to attach, but again, it's fine. We have not played a single item yet. I mean, he can do 40, maybe get rid of the DC, slow me down a little bit. Um, we'll see if he actually tries to put Noivern back in play. That's a pretty bad idea, because again, with DCE, Noivern will not last very long. And it just... It gives me the win, basically, because we can Guzma him. He's going to do another Cynthia, so no end. We'll see if he goes for Garboder. No, I'm assuming he's just going to Acid Spray me here. We're going to see a Max Elixir. Not hitting, which is pretty good. Um, there's Weavile, and it is the evil Domination one. But again, we're not going to be putting Hoopa down in this matchup. We're not going to be putting probably another Eevee down for a while. And he's going to Acid Spray. He doesn't get heads, so we can just knock him out here, which is kind of nice. And I think I'll just use this time to... Just put more Sylveons in play. Why not? Did get a Handiwork, which is a pretty good card to play here. So we will play it. And get Double Tails. That is lovely. Um, pretty annoying. So we'll just Fairy Wind, knock him out. Get rid of this Trubbish. We don't have to worry about losing energy. We'll take our prize, which is an Ace Rolla, which we can definitely use next turn. Um, I don't know really my, what my opponent can do. His damage output is limited because Noivern needs two to attack. Plus he's weak to fairy, and this is not going to do any damage to me. The best he can do is stall me. He's going to actually do that, which is fine. Good thing I held on a float. He's going to bring out Noivern, which I think is a bit of a misplay because we can float and flare grunt that energy off and really punish him for this. And he's probably just going to get seed after that, to be honest. Well, I don't even have to do Flare Gun. There's really nothing I need to do with this hand. I don't even know if I want to play Ace Rolla either, to be quite honest with you. Alright, I'm sorry, good sir. I am sorry. We're just going to attach, just because why not? We're just going to knock him out. Again, we're kind of just in cruise control right now. I wouldn't mind getting the other puzzle, though, so I can do another Flare Gun. Or another Handiwork, sorry. We do get a Super Rod, so that's not bad. But again, I think we win the game here. There's nothing my opponent can do to stop me unless he plays Enhanced Hammer and a Team Flare Gun. But judging from his deck, I feel like it's a little bit more of an aggressive deck. So I don't think he plays Team Flare Gun or anything. He will attach a Dark Energy to Weavile. He will do a Sycamore. Um, that's fine. Again, I don't think he can do anything. Well, the only thing he can do is do Enhanced Hammer. He, he can Icy win me. If I don't wake up... I have Ace Rolla, and that is indeed game, so a bit of a weird match, um, but again, this is like one of those matchups where it's like, you can win because Noivern's weak, um, and the fact that he needed the extra energy to attack is not good for him. I think he could have potentially had me if he got the heads on Acid Spray, we would have lost our DC, we wouldn't have been able to do all of this, but at the end of the day, Sylveon can definitely beat Noivern very easily because of that weakness, and he couldn't end me either, so it's like, he couldn't stop Magical Ribbons. And this is how Sylveon is so good. And taking Pulse Rotation, Sylveon's going to be even better because N's going to be rotating. And unless we get an N reprint, which probably won't happen until August, if N gets reprinted in the August Japanese set, we don't have to worry about N. And that's pretty big for Sylveon because they have Ilma, Red Card. No, they have Ilma and they have Marshadow from Shiny Legends. That's really all they can do. We will win the coin flip, which is kind of nice. Um, see what we're up against here. It looks like a metal deck, so we're in for an issue. Um, I'm going to open with Hoopa, because I'll just put Floatstone on it. We'll see what kind of deck he's playing. Metal is pretty bad. Uh, Magnezone's scary, but we do have Plea. And... Ooh. If he's playing Doug Trio, I genuinely can't win. Okay, he's not playing Doug Trio, which is pretty nice to see. 
I was kind of worried he was going to be playing a Doug Trio deck. Doug Trio is an auto loss because he doesn't play any energy to attack, so it's like he's already at a huge advantage. I think we just we just handiwork him. Double heads to make up a double head or quad heads, and we get rid of a Magnezone, a Stretchery, Skyland, and Energy, um, which is pretty good, especially getting rid of the Stretchered Magnezone. So that'll definitely help us. Handiwork coming in clutch. And we can just sit back with Hoopa for a little bit. We don't need to do much. Hoopa literally can take hits. I'm probably going to have to retreat, though, next turn and start doing Magical Ribbon. Just got to watch out for Magnezone. If we can find a DC, though, I wouldn't mind knocking out Magnemite here. But it looks like he's going to bridge it. And he's probably going to get more Magnemites down. There is Dustmane Necrozma. Pretty scary to see. But, again, because we have access to Plea, hopefully we can run him over. We do have Hoopa, too, forcing him to go into Magnezone. He's actually going to attach, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So we'll probably just do Parallel City for now. Get rid of that Mount Coronet. We'll retreat into Sylveon, and we'll probably just do Magical Ribbons. I, I don't think he has the... Uh, probably doesn't have the knockout in the hand. Well, he might. He does rip me. So we'll grab DCE. Hmm. Maybe grab Delinquent. Probably do Delinquent next turn. And maybe... Max Potion's pretty useless in this matchup. Maybe just grab Cynthia. Nah, we'll grab a Team Flare Gun. No. Yeah, we'll grab That's fine. That is fine. Maybe I should have grabbed Bodybuilding Dumbbells, too. He might actually knock him out with Magnezone here. Oh, he got Mount Coronet back. Okay, we could still delinquent that if, you know, he doesn't get Magnezone in. He does. Hopefully, he doesn't have two energies in his hand. This is kind of bad. This, I mean, obviously, you will struggle against Metal. But, you know, if he wasn't getting this Magnezone down, I think we'd be in a decent position. But the Magnezone, ooh, he's doing to the bench one. So it looks like he's not going for a Zap Cannon. Or he is, because he's retreating. Because he already did Skyla, he pro he'd have to have a letter in his hand and another energy. Which he doesn't. Very questionable play. We're going to punish that by getting rid of his entire hand. And then we can just start attacking him here and just get him the knockout soon. Hopefully he doesn't draw a Sycamore, though. So we can just start attacking him. We can do Palpad. Why not? Like, Flagrant's not bad in this matchup either. It slows him down a little bit, but I think we can just afford to Fairy Wind him. So we'll just start attacking this Magnezone, saying your Magnezone's going to get knocked out. I wish I had a Guzma in my hand, though. If you drew Sycamore, or a Cynthia, or an N... I'm gonna go. He drew it in! <sighs> oh my goodness, are you actually kidding me? He drew in. Did he put a T? He just put a Dialga down. Okay, that's. That's not bad. I can't believe he actually just drew in off of that. <sighs> As if he didn't already have an advantage over me. That's pretty bad. We'll see if he, get, he got three energies, though, to knock me out. Really wish I had a Guzma, though. He's attached to the active. Okay, he can retreat. I guess. He's gonna bring out Magnemite, that's fine. Drew a Field Blower, we don't really need to play that. Probably just attach. We don't really need Fairy Energy in this matchup. We'll do Cynthia. There's another Eevee, we'll put him down. Kind of tempted to do plea here. Hmm. He's definitely got a supporter in his hand. Knowing my luck. I don't know. Like, we can knock out Magnezone soon. So it's like, not the end of the world. I mean, I maybe we should just save the plea. 
But we do get all the energy off his board. But the thing's already heavily damaged, so it's pretty easy to knock out, right? Hmm. I think I just knock him out. Yeah, let's just knock him out. He's already heavily damaged. I feel like this is a waste. I don't know, I might regret that. Again, this is like my first time playing Sylveon, but I think what we can do next turn is Guzma the Magnezone and knock it out. Unless he ends me. Please do not have a Sycamore. The fact that he brought a Magnemite, though, tells me he doesn't have a good hand. But I'm praying. Praying things go well. It's not going too bad for us right now. The top of the top delinquent's annoying, but we're still in a decent position. Especially because we are going to take out this Magnezone. He's actually going to Guzma me, which is fine. He's probably going to bring out Eevee. Yeah. We'll see if he has three energies. He doesn't. That's fine by me, because we'll just Guzma this Magnezone and knock it out. And... Well, we're definitely not going to knock it out next turn. Well, he might, but we'll do this just to thin out the deck and get another Sylveon in play. This does mean I have... You know, an easy liability if we ever want to stall a Hoopa, but it's fine. And we'll just take out his Magnezone GX, or... Magnezone GX. We'll take out his Magnezone. We'll take our prize, which is an Ace Rolla. We don't really need that, but it's whatever. Well, he might. He might Claw Slash me. Hopefully, he doesn't knock me out this turn. We got rid of two Magnezones and a Stretcher, so it's gonna hurt his odds. He does get a Lele, which is annoying. We'll see where this goes. I kind of regret putting that other Sylveon in play now. This might actually be bad. He's gonna grab an N... So he's going to try and end me to four. And if he gets Magnezone Rare Candy off this, I think I'm going to quit playing Pokemon forever. And no, I'm just kidding. I'll just plea him, but we'll see what this end gives me. Flagrant's not bad, actually, because we can get rid of that Metal Energy and slow him down a little bit more. Because he doesn't have any Mount Coronets in play. We could also do Team Skull Run. He will find an Ultra Ball. Do not tell me you hit Rare Candy Magnezone off of that. Dude, I give up. Uh, please do not have a knockout. I swear. Dude. Oh my goodness. How did you get the knockout off of that? Kind of thing? Oh my gosh, dude. He actually got the knockout off of that. I am so done with this game. That, are you serious? Are you actually kidding me, dude? He actually got a knockout off that end. I give up with this game today. Are you actually kidding me? Well, I guess we just sit back with Hoopa for a little bit. That is so annoying. He actually hit that. <sighs> what is life? What is life? <laughs> you don't get it? And an energy recycler. Are you actually kidding me? This game is going to go downhill so quick now. Oh my goodness. What? How are you? How do you get these good hands, bro? I can't believe it, dude. That is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Hopefully we can just keep sitting back with Hoopa for now. He's got 20 cards left, so we could deck him out soon. Who knows? He's a target. Start oh my. If you knock me out with Magnezone, I am going to be so... Okay, good. <sighs> Alright, so we'll put bodybuilding dumbbells on. We'll, we'll do this. He has letter. Are you... <laughs> letter. La what are these good hands? He even has rare candy, so Plea wouldn't even do anything. That is so annoying, bro. We're just gonna pass. We'll see if he knocks me out with this turn. Man, I don't get it, dude. We had an advantage, but unfortunately, because he got really lucky off that rare candy, or that end, he's gonna knock me out. This is unbelievable. This is why I like the Garboder version of Sylveon, too. Because if we had Garb in play, we'd be better. He's actually grabbed Cyrus. Okay, that's... I mean, we can still do Super Rod, I guess. Wait, he... I think he wins the game. Like, he had to have drawn an energy to win the game. You drew perfect... Oh my gosh, I'm done, dude. I'm so done. I'm so done with this game. Are you actually kidding me? 
All right, let's get another game. Hopefully, playing against a Zork deck, and hopefully, my opponent doesn't get that lucky ever again. That was pretty sad. He got literally he drew out of a delinquent to a zero card hand. He ended himself into the perfect hand he needed to knock out my Sylveon after we had a pretty good position over him. Pretty, pretty triggered to say the least. Triggered would be an understatement, especially because he's playing a metal deck. We wanted the best advantage we could, and you know, we we're swinging the game in our direction. But my opponent had the most insane luck that game, which you know, drove me. I don't know. That game's cursed. Looks like that we are up against a Galissa Pajzaro deck, which is fine because this is one of our better matchups, in my opinion. Um, probably, arguably, our best matchup. And we'll see how this goes. I think he let, did he let me go first? I can't remember. I cannot remember. So let's see. Hopefully, we don't really reveal too much of what we're playing. Okay, that's fine. Not the best hand. We do have a Cynthia, though. This is why I do like having the draw support. So we didn't play any, like, Cynthia's. He's playing Leafeon. Okay. Leafeon's interesting. But again, these two prize attackers should be hopefully easy to, you know, deal with. So he's going to open up with Zorua. Hopefully he's thinking I'm playing a Guardi deck. That'd be kind of nice. Alright, let's see what he does. Is he going to get the turn 1 Brigid or not? He is. Okay, so he can Ultra Ball for a Tapu Lele. Okay, he does get rid of an energy though, which is good. Because we, we can win the game by milling him from his grass energies. And Zorark's damage output is not very good. I wouldn't... Okay, I gotta stop hitting my desk here with my pop, but... I wouldn't mind getting a Parallel City and then making him get rid of a couple of basics so then his mat his Grain Bloom is hurt. We can probably hold it. He's actually grabbing Cynthia and not Bridget. Okay. Does he have an Eevee in his hand? He doesn't. I don't know why he's my name. Whatever, it's fine by me. At least he can't Lele for an end now, which is kind of nice. Does he get an Eevee down or not? Doesn't. All right, we do. We did draw a nest ball, which is pretty lit. So we're gonna probably just put down Hoopa, because I honestly don't know. I mean, he has Fomantis, but you know, 20 damage is nothing. So we have some advantages here. We'll put down Sylveon GX. And before I puzzle for uh, uh, for nest ball, no, I'm kidding. So we'll do Cynthia. Hopefully, we can maybe find like a parallel city or something. We don't we do find another Eevee? We'll put that down. And we'll do Magical Ribbon for probably E-Hammer, Max Potion, and Fairy Energy? I guess. Seems fine by me. I doubt my opponent plays any stadiums, but I was tempted also to grab like a Parallel City there just in case. But he is going to put down Zork, which is fine. He, you know, he swings me. We just Max Potion heal. So he's going to do a trade. Hopefully gets rid of an Energy. Doesn't. Gets rid of a Bridget. We'll see if he does have DC to attack me. He's going to put down their Fomantis. Does he play Lorantis GX? Nope. If he does, I mean, I'm assuming he does, but I don't know. Let's see how much damage he does to me here with, with Raiji's beating. Choice Band is going to help him a little bit. This is why Field Blower is good. And he can Raiji's beating me for 90. He's actually not even two-shotting me, but we still have to do Max Potion. Um, there's a Bodybuilding Dumbbells, which is going to help. So Max Potion. Actually, I have one in my hand. Told you guys, I'm not very good at playing Sylveon. So we can do Enhanced Hammer. And we can do another Magical Ribbon. Probably for... Fairy Energy. Team Flare Ground. No, actually, we'll grab... We'll, we'll save those for the uh, Grass Energies. He concedes the game. There you go. See, these Zoark matchups, they are very, very good for us. Because Zoark, you know, damage output's pretty low. So that was good. Did he play a Lorantis GX? He didn't. So at the end of the day... Not having Lorraine just really healthy. He did have an enhanced hammer. And he only played seven and grass energies. So that game definitely could have been pretty good for us. And it looks like we are going to get ten tourney tickets. All right, let's go find another game with our deck. Hopefully we can play against another Zorark deck. But I keep running into metal. I've played, find, found three games and I just, I keep running into metal. So I'm like, please, no metal. Enough with the metal. So if I get four medals in a row, I'm going to cry.
Okay, it looks like we're playing against Garchomp, which is fine. This might be a bit of an issue, but we should be okay, hopefully. Um, I kind of want to play against Zork, though. Well, you know, beggars can't be choosy. Um, but we'll see what happens in this match. We are going to open with Hoopa. Not the greatest starter, because it's kind of a bad card here, because if he's playing Garchomp, you know, it's not even a, you know, right. Hoopa will do nothing in this matchup. But the, the Leafeon Zork matchup, that's where Hoopa excels. So see what we end up starting with. We do get a Team Rocket's handiwork, but I think I'm going to do Cynthia because I need to find some Eevees or something like a Nest Ball. There's Eevee, there's Floatstone, which is all lovely. Plus he is weak to Fairy, I forgot about that, so I think I just retreat to be honest with you. So we'll go into Sylveon. Don't know if I want to double puzzle quite yet, but assuming our hand, I might have to. So we'll retreat Hoopa, go into Sylveon, and we will pass the turn. This matchup is pretty good because we him for weakness, he needs two energy to attack, and because we have enhanced hammers and team flagrants, we're going to make it pretty hard on him, so hopefully all goes well this match. Bringing it all goes well, of course. This might still be a little tricky because he does still have, like, breakpoint Garchomp, which gets energy back into play, and he takes a hit from Fairy Wind, but we do have stuff like Play GX and all kinds of, like, disruption-y kind of cards, so... This matchup hopefully goes well. well. We'll see. I'm just grateful he's not playing a metal deck. You know, when you're trying to find games, you know, you don't want to play against metal. You know, I would have, you know, played against a metal deck if I didn't already have one for this video. It's like, I don't want to play against two. You, oh my, uh, don't tell me you're actually going to attack me with Tapu Lele. Please do not attack me with Tapu Lele. I'm going to cry. Right, good. I was like, oh, are you actually about to do that though, fam? So we'll do Magical Ribbon, our hand is not very good, we'll grab Eevee, we'll grab Cynthia, <laughs> and I guess Max Potion, just in case he does attack me with Tapu Lele. I could have knocked him out, but obviously we're, you know, he could easily attack me with Lele, do a lot of damage. So he is going to retreat. Um, it is annoying that he is going to attack me here. But again, you know, we do have Max Potion to save us for a little bit. And he can't keep attaching DC forever because we do have Enhanced Hammer. So he is going to do Ultra Ball. Probably for another Lele. Yeah, he is going to end me, it looks like. We'll see if he even... He might not even play in. I, I highly doubt it. But if he does end me, that is a little unfortunate because we did have a pretty decent hand here. But we'll see if he ends or Sycamore. Sycamore would be better for him because he only has one card. But he has to end me to slow me down. And he's not going to end me. He's going to do Sycamore. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. Um, and he gets rid of a puzzle. That's a good card to see get discarded. Because that can easily get him back stuff he needs that we can get rid of. We'll see if he did find Rare Candy Lucario. Puzzle coming down? Okay. Fine by me. And did he get Rare Candy Lucario? He is going to Ultra Ball for... Okay, he had Rare Candy, so he definitely had it. So I'm assuming he does have it, or else he wouldn't have gotten rid of that Rare Candy. Did he get energy this turn, though? That'd be pretty OP. Oh, no, he does have an energy, right? Uh, that's kind of annoying. Because Sylveon gets one-shotted by Lucario. Like, right on... Or not Lucario, Garchomp, right on the dot. Hopefully he didn't find energy. Or hopefully he's not grabbing energy. Hopefully he grabs, like, a Gabite or something. Let's see, did he get an energy or not? No, okay, he is grabbing Gabite, cool. Hopefully the last card in his hand is not energy. Okay, so he's gonna energy drive me for 90. There's a handiwork. Part of me kind of wants to do... Plea here. But there's no point. So, we'll just max potion. We'll do fairy energy. Cynthia, hopefully hit Enhanced Hammer. No Enhanced Hammer. Okay, so we'll just have the Magical Ribbon. But he can grab an end, though, which is, like, more annoying. So we'll grab Enhanced Hammer. We'll grab probably Team Flagrant. And... Or maybe DC Guzma to knock out Garchomp. Yeah, let's do that. He's probably going to end me here. But it's whatever. 
Body Melt Dumbbells might actually save us too, forgot. But again, because of Lucario, he can just grab Field Blowers, so it's gonna be kinda tough, not gonna lie. So he is going to get two Garchomps, which is fine. He's gonna catch another DC, wow, okay. A little overkill, but it's fine. I'm kinda glad he doesn't have any Breakpoint Garchomps in play. He didn't end me either, so we don't have to worry about it. Does he not play N? I have a feeling he doesn't play N, or if he does, it's prize. Hmm. We can we can hammer this. We can actually knock out Lucario, which I think I'm gonna do. We'll see if he plays any e EXP shares. He's gonna do Palpad. He can get back the two Cynthia's. It's fine. So, he's gonna swing me. He can do a lot of damage, but hopefully we can slow him down a little bit. There's a delinquent. Could do Ace Rolla. Um. Uh, what to do, what to do? I can knock out this Lucario. But if he just gets an energy, Lele knocks me out, and I don't like that. I think I just do Magical Ribbon. Yeah. If Lele knocks me out, you know, I don't want that to happen. So. Might as well just keep keep going on for now. Uh, we'll do this. We will Magical Ribbon for Sylveon number two, because why not? Actually, not stupid. Grab an Enhanced Hammer. We will grab... A team flare gun and what else do I need? Well, maybe I grab. We'll grab an ace roller. Do I have field blower? I don't. Do I have super rod? No. Nah, that's fine. Then we'll just grab these three guys. Hopefully we just keep stalling him for now. So he's gonna do precognitive aura. I really want to knock that thing out. But again, the fact that he needs two energies to attack, you know, helps us out a bit. Plus, you know, we're in a position where if he does attack me, we can just fairy win the Garchomp that he put energy on. That's the idea. He does have an end, so he will end me, which is kind of unfortunate, but we'll see if our hand is going to be good. We haven't taken any prizes, so six cards is still pretty nice to draw. Double Ace Roller, I guess, works too. Parallel City's pretty good. He does attach a Fighting Energy, which is kind of scary. And because he ended me, we don't have that option to Guzma knock him out. So he's going to Energy Drive me for a whopping 90 damage. So we'll play the Parallel City. Not that it matters, but I'll play it anyways just so I don't draw it. So I don't even know if we really need it. Um... We'll do Nest Ball, just to thin out the deck a little bit more. Don't think we need that many EVs, but, you know, cause, you know we're not drawing too well. And, because he's played two DCs, he's probably going to knock me out. So I'm going to have to do Ace Roller here. I need to keep buying time. So we can do Fairy Wind. Or, not Fairy Wind, sorry, Magical Ribbon, my bad. I am dumb. And, speaking of dumb, we can put Body Villain Dumbbells on, and we can do Magical Ribbon for probably E-Hammer. Definitely want DCE. Maybe Guzma, so we can try and knock him out next turn. That's fine. I might, you know, maybe I should grab another puzzle, but I think this is actually fine, because we'll try and knock out, if, as long as we survive the turn, we can knock out Garchomp, and go from there, but also what I really wanted to do, maybe go into Hoopa, but it's fine, he's actually just gonna touch a basic energy, so that's good, so we're not gonna get knocked out here, unless he does something, hopefully he doesn't end me again, please don't play more than two ends, or have your end be prized. Does he end me? does uh, okay please give me guzma dc even though i only play two dcs and one guzma so probably not but give me 
the DC Guzma. Ah, oh, rip, we almost got him. I guess we'll plea him. He will do Field Blower, that's fine. We'll see if he gets rid of the Floatstone. He doesn't, okay, that's good. I like keeping Floatstone. Does he, he plays Puzzle though, right? Yeah, he does, gotta watch out for that. Just an energy drive for 90. Okay. So we'll Flare Grunt. And this will be the turn where I do Plea. Hmm. We'll get we'll, we'll put we'll put, we'll put both guard charms back. I don't know what I'm saying. And he's probably got the knockout here, but again, he can't do precognitive aura, so we'll see if he has that last DCE. If he does, it's kind of scary, but we can again we can just bring out hoop him, you know, buy some time. But we'll see if he has it or not. Play two ends, and I'm assuming he doesn't play any more than two, so we could probably start doing magical ribbon. But gotta watch over double. We gotta watch over puzzle of time. There's puzzle. Uh oh. Okay, that's pretty scary, and it looks like it's a double puzzle. His hand is kind of big, even though we already know his hand's like full of guard chomps. But I'm assuming he had both. He does. No, why? That's pretty bad, guys. He will unfortunately knock me out. Sylveon will go down, and best we can do is stall with Hoopa for a little bit. But I'm actually fine with that double puzzle. He can't do it again, so we don't have to worry about that for a while. Sylveon goes down, unfortunately. A super rod would be pretty good. Fairy energy works. We can go back right into Sylveon. And we shall... Nah, we'll do- we'll just- we'll do this. We'll Team Flare Grunt, we'll Retreat, go Sylveon, and we'll Magical Ribbon for probably Fairy Energy. I do want to get Super Rod back, so we'll definitely get Super Rod. And... We have a Puzzle, because we have Double Puzzle. We'll just Max Potion, because we know he has a DC, but again, we can just Max Potion, Team Flare Grunt, get rid of that DC, and that is... You know, it's gonna be lower on DCs. So he does put down Gabite, okay. We'll see if he has Hurricane Garchomp. He does put down Buzzwool, which I'm fine with. And there's another Gabite. Alright, so he doesn't have the Hurricane Garchomp, which is fine. So he's gonna attach- Oh, so he's not gonna play the DC. Okay, very interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, we'll do the pharyngees. So we need to grab it. So we'll super rod back. Probably just these guys, and we will start to do handiwork spam. Duh. Come on, are you serious? Okay, that's annoying. So we'll just probably evolve into Sylveon, and that's fine. We'll magical ribbon for probably Team Flaregrunt. Parallel City, and actually, sure. I'll grab E Hammer. I'm assuming he's gonna put the DC down. So we'll grab these guys. So there's Garchomp, but again, I don't know what I can do. I was tempted to also get the Guzma play there so we can start knocking out Garchomps, but at this point, I think we're pretty safe. I don't know why he attached to Lele and not Garchomp. That would have been pretty big, actually, if he did that. She's gonna do another Precognitive Aura. But again, I don't know what he's grabbing. Maybe a basic energy. I, I mean, he could do that, but again, because we have Max Potion, it's not a big deal. I don't know if I want to do Delinquent. Oh, yeah, he did attach to Garchomp, so he's not attacking me this turn. Okay. So Garchomp's getting ready, and he does have his Cynthia, so that's pretty bad. We 
drew a fairy energy, and it's not a really good draw. <sighs> Should have grabbed Guzma DCE. Why? Why? Why didn't I do that? Um. Maybe we grab. Yeah, we'll grab Team Flare Gun. We'll puzzle for double flare gun. Now oh, we'll get the DC back. Actually, we'll grab body bone dumbbells. Maybe this will help him help us a bit. So we flare gun that. How many max potions do we have left? Okay, so I'm not gonna put a fairy energy down, and uh, we'll just do magical ribbon again. And this is gonna be the turn where we grab Guzma DCE, and probably. We know he has a DC, so if he holds on again, we can do Team Skull Grunt. I don't think we need to. I think we just grab, like, Puzzle. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't play Switch. He could always do his own Guzma, but again, without Cynthia, he doesn't get the one-shot. And even if he does have a retreating plan or something, Bodybuilding Dumbbells is going to come in clutch. So he's going to do pre Native Aura. He might actually try and bring out the other Eevee. That wouldn't be a bad idea, but we do have our other Sylveon, so... You know, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, boys, it ain't gonna matter. But he is close to getting decked out. Okay. So this is gonna be the turn where we start knocking him out. So we'll probably just do this. We'll Guzma the Garchomp. And do we need to do anything else? Could do parallel actually. And then he can't put another Gibble down. We'll do it anyways, it's fine. He's gonna get rid of Buzzle, obviously, but this way he just is limited in his bench. So he can't maybe do like a Lele, I don't know. So Fairy Wind knock him out. Luckily he is weak to Fairy. And then we can set up a delinquent play next turn. So we'll take a prize. There's a handiwork, that's really good. Um so we're just we're in a pretty good spot right now. This is one of those matchups that can go either way because of the fact that he needs two energies and he's weak to fairy helps us. But the fact that he can one shot is pretty bad too. But we're able to, you know, try and push through. We might actually be able to win this game. I think I do want to delinquent him because he might be holding on to Cynthia. Because he can shuffle his big hand back. That's the strategy, I'm guessing. So there's another precognitive aura. You can start building up the Garchomp. Um, but if we can draw a puzzle here, we can just do that Guzma play again, knock out another Garchomp. Breakpoint Garchomp is a little scary, but again, it might be too late. She's going to attach to the Garchomp. We still have other bodybuilding dumbbells, so maybe we can draw that. I don't know. And he passes the puzzle. Another Fairy Energy. Oh my goodness. So I guess we'll play it anyways, just to thin out the deck. And I'm tempted to retrieve, but that's our last... Yeah, I don't know. I think we delinquent. Or do we hold it? Hmm, I should have maybe attached to the active, retreated into Hoopa. Oh, I should have done that. Because then I can loose me for another Guzma and set up that Guzma play. I think we just retreat into the other Sylveon then and we'll do this. We'll do Lusamine for Team Flare Gun and Guzma. We'll do Magical Ribbon for this, this, nope, this, and I don't know what else I need. I guess we'll get Pelpat back. Dang it, dude. I really regret that. I really, really regret not attaching another fairy and then retreating. Keep the DCE on. Really regret that. That that might be pretty bad. Because we could just wait in a Hoopa. But we'll see. He does have Field Blower, so unfortunately he will take us down. That kind of stinks. And we don't have Delinquent anymore either, which is a lot. I mean, we can always puzzle, but we will just take out his Garchomp here, so it's like... He can come close to winning, but he probably doesn't have any DCs left. He's probably super low on resources. Well, he does have a DC left, right? Yeah. 
to move. Dang it, he does. Stretcher, okay. He's going to shuffle, so he's going to be able to save him some time. Okay, darn it, though. I should have... I should have went to Hoopa here. My bad. My bad. That... Not the smartest play I've ever made, to say the least. Double Lucario could be bad at some point. Yikes. Pro again, guys, this is like, what, my first, like, first, like, video I'm ever recording playing Sylveon. This is my first time playing Sylveon, so you gotta, be, you gotta excuse some of the misplays that might be kind of questionable. Rip, though. This is not good. The fact that I didn't go into Hoopa could be the make-or-break deal. So, we'll bring out the Hoopa. Not a fairy. So, we'll definitely do double puzzle. Get that DCE back. And do we have an Ace Roller? We don't. I think I'm actually going to grab an Ace Roller here. And we'll do... I kind of want to hold that. I don't know what I need. We'll retreat. We can play any supporter we want. So we'll do handiwork. Okay, handiwork. That is... That's oh, that's 0 for 4. That is not good. So we'll fairy wind, knock him out. He doesn't have a Garchomp play, so maybe he isn't able to... He can't he's used to, but uh, maybe he isn't able to find this DC. If he gets the Garchomp down, he's gonna be able to swing with DC. This is a pretty weird game though. He's bringing out the Tapu Lele. He hasn't played a Guzma, so I don't know if I can really stall with Hoopa. We are able to get rid of most of his energy here. We can E hammer him, we can Ace Rolla, keep stalling for a bit. And I might even just attack him with Fairy Wind, just so I can try and get this Lele off the board. But I might just knock out this other Gibble. But Lele is still kind of a threat, but it relies on DC to attack. Another Stretcher! How many do you play? Don't... Why do you play that many Stretchers? He does have Hurricane Garchomp, so we are going to have to Fairy Wind it, unless he has DC, but... Oh my gosh. This is so bad. Well, let's see what he does, if he attaches to the active or not. Got nine cards left, guys. It's not over yet. Double Lucario, though, is not good either, but we can take out Garchomp. But hopefully that other DC is prized. I doubt it. I really doubt it, but if it is... Man, I really regret not going to Hoopa. I might even just go into Hoopa this turn. I don't know, man. This Lele is really bad. You can Field Blower, which isn't bad. How many Choice Bands he played? I might have another one. He's actually attaching Lucario. Okay. Interesting. I he might he probably didn't have the DC. That's probably why he's doing that because he can still do missile jab, I guess. But I'm gonna take out that Garchomp. So first off, we'll do Field Blower. Get rid of that pesky Choice Band. We will. I mean, he's he's already weak. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll take out Garchomp. He's already got 110 HP. He's going to get knocked out regardless. I'm going to start attach fairy energies to you to build you up. I'm going to do another pal pad to get back Guzma and probably a handiwork because we need to start milling him soon. And we'll fairy win, knock out Garchomp. Now he doesn't have that precognitive aura anymore. So hopefully that comes in clutch. There's another body build dumbbells. That's good. Man, this is a long game. Holy cow. I know Sylveon videos are usually longer. He's bringing out Garchomp, or Lucario, sorry, so it looks like he's still stuck. But I think at this point, we should be able to win the game. We should be able to wrap it up. Does he have a Float Stone? He can knock out Hoopa, but thankfully, he's not going to win the game off that. And I don't really know what that does for him, unless that DC is prized. Again, I don't even think it matters at this point. There's Guzma, so that's good. So we'll just do this. We will just fairy window. 
Luckily, we are doing enough damage to take out Lucario. What is our prize going to be? I don't even know. Hoopa is pretty much useless. We don't even want to bench an Eevee or Hoopa anymore because he can get knocked out. So he's going to bring out Lele. I'm assuming he got the DC off the prizes. He just played three Garchomps. Yep, so he has one. But we do have Guzma, so I can always knock it out next turn if I really want. I think we win the game here, guys. I think we have game. Or not game, but at least we're close to winning. He's so low on resources, too. He's played a lot of cards. I think if he had Breakpoint Garchomp, he really could have swung things in his favor. He's going to attach the DC. He does attach a Choice Band. Annoying, but we have Ace Rolla, so it's like, who cares? So, we're, we're basically just chilling right now. Power of Sylveon Stall. <sighs> Man, it's fun to play, but it's not fun to play against. And you can see it. And that will wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Sylveon Stall, is it any good? Do you think it's better with Hoopa or with something like our Boater? Um, do we have enough coins by pack? We don't rip. But do you think Sylveon is better with Hoopa? Do you think it's better with Garb? Do you think it's better with like a 1 1 Gardevoir? I'd love to know what you think of Hoopa with other cards. I genuinely think 12 Fairy Energies was too overkill. I think we can take out a Fairy Energy, and I wouldn't mind running, like, maybe another Lusamine, another Palpad would be pretty good. Maybe another, um, another Guzma would be really good, but again, that was, like, only for that matchup where we really need Guzma. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe down the road to 3k subs. Thanks for all the support on the videos. The support we see on the channel has been really good, and it's been, you know, really motivating and putting a smile on my face. And if you have any cool deck ideas, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe down the road to 3k subs, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.